everyone. Welcome to Outdoors with the Squatch. Hey, you've seen the mud holes. Not a fan of that, right? Got the spray paint out. We're marking trees. Uh, I'm going to save this one. These other ones are going to be firewood. We'll get into that in a little bit here. But uh, yeah, let's just work our way back. And uh, these trees need to go. Give you some updates real quick uh, the wood boiler project you've been seeing that is um huh let's put it this way the new holland takes itself a little trip so we got that for you coming real soon uh, and then i've got this driveway clearing project um and my buddy chris sees this more than likely he's gonna want to join in i don't know we've been kind of trading chores back and forth helping each other out so he may want to be a part of this, I don't know. Or maybe when I get further back, right? But I know there's a lot to do out at the farm. So, and I promised you that we were gonna go back out there and we are, so that's gonna be fun. So I think this cherry's the last one we have for right now. Um, this, this one died, I think, last year. So after we get across this drainage ditch, I think we can cut kitty corner about right where that sun's peeking through there. Um, is approximately where we're going to be putting our home. And I think we can save several hundred feet of gas line and electric line just by cutting on an angle through here. Not sure, got to get with the gas and electric company and find out how much distance they need for their trench and see if it's feasible, but I'm thinking it will be. example as to why that uh, Dan user intimidator tree puller will be great on the, the front end loader and I have that wicked root grapple on the three point uh, the driveway from the time we get off the main main drag out there till we get to the, the garage it's gonna I'm thinking it's gonna be about 1500 feet and out of that 1500 feet 1300 of it was densely wooded so I literally have <laughs> piles like this from the time you get 200 foot off the main drag until we get up to the house and a lot of times these are stuffed up into the woods so very hard to access i couldn't do it with just a grapple very easily and maybe probably could but it'd be a bit of a pain this way just because the tree puller is a more precision instrument you know i have a camera on that and i literally could pick a twig up off the ground with it i mean it's that good um so anyway i'll be able to cut this up all the way with the uh the grapple and then reach up in the, the gap there, right, if you will, and drag the trees back. So that's the goal. I think it'll work well. We're gonna find out. 